Okay then guys, right, so today got a leaking radiator valve um, and uh, leaking all over the floor, um, etc. So first things first, we need to get up into the loft. Um, and as you can see, we need to make our way and uh, locate the, uh, the header tank. And I'm just going to cap and bung it just to just to try and help. You can see when I actually change the valve, it doesn't actually doesn't actually work, or I didn't give it enough time anyway. One of the two. Um, so yeah, locate the uh, the header tank. Next up, we need to uh, cap and bung the system. So I always put my drip stopper in. I wet it first, put it into the uh, vent pipe. Then need to get hold of your other one and put that into the uh, into the outlet pipe of the header tank, which you can see down the bottom there. Then I go that back downstairs again and I'll close off the other side of the radiator valve so I'm not, not worried about the other side coming back through again. Um, and then after that, put some towels down and then we can start undoing the valves. As you can see here, so I'm just closing off the new valve, just so then if the, if it is uh, if it does let by, uh, or the or the bung doesn't work, then I'm not worried about it spurting out all over the room, etc. Once I've got that on, then it should be capped. Then I'm going to paste it up. Right, and then uh, as you can see, I'm going to start undoing the valves now. Um, don't know why, but my phone decided to uh, put it into slow mo, so I've had to speed it up to catch up to to regular time. Uh, but as you see, this is um, this is literally just I haven't cut it at all. This is just me doing it straight as we go. Uh, also, with with me, I've got my Hoover with me, um, just my little handheld Makita one, just in case, as you never know what's going to go on. Um, and, yeah, there you go. So you can see, it's time to Hoover it now. So all I'm worried about is what what was in the uh, actual radiator at the minute. I've only cracked the bottom nut just so it's finger tight so then I can start getting that. No, I, can, I can actually work, open that with my fingers hopefully after that. There we go, so all I'm worried about there is just water that's coming out of the radiator so it's hardly anything. I could use my plum thumb to actually bung it though, so it stops coming out. There we go, so we've got loads of water coming out. Thumb over and then jump the new one back on again you can see kind of got a little bit wet um but yeah that's that's literally how i do it um jump it on do it back up again because you're not you're not working with a lot of pressure there really um and also i was upstairs as well which also helps uh, and then we can uh, do up the other side as well and then tighten them up and it should be job done there we go so all tighten back up again and uh once that's done then we can uh, start tidying up basically, start cleaning up. Uh, the I haven't got any water on the floor, the floor was already wet anyway, but as you can see, there's only a tiny bit of water that come out. Um, yep, yeah, make sure they're done up nice and tight. and we can start just tidying up a tiny bit of water on that wall there um, but you can see it hasn't been decorated for a long time so it's not nothing major and the water wasn't too bad to be fair open it back up again just a bit stiff lovely then open up the other side then I can get back up into the loft take out the bungs and then double check it and that should be it job done really all nice and dry not leaking job done